Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We finally filled this case of 1718 Panini Ascension Basketball. It's a full case, 12 boxes. Pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. Right here on a Thursday. Pick your team number four. Steel Curtain, who doesn't really collect basketball, trying the basketball. Scared money don't make money, he says. So he's going to give it a shot. Set that right there. At the very end of the break, there'll be a randomizer. There'll be a randomizer at the very end of the break. The name on top will get a holiday scratcher. The next person down on that list will get $50 of break credit. And then the next five people after that, Paul Harris, who has the Pistons in this break, Paul Harris was, uh, was kind enough to donate uh, five autographed basketball cards to the next five people. It just as a little extra bonus giveaway type thing. So thanks to Paul for that. We haven't done the Ascension in a while. We did watch the video of Ascension earlier today from one of our previous breaks. So I think everybody got a good idea of what that looks like. All right, so there's all the, all the boxes right there. Some of them are tipped over. a little bit of space here. Let's slide all these back. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, perfect. All right, let's get these boxes in frame a little bit. There you go. Let's start with this one over here. So just to refresh your memories, this year's, it's this year's basketball class. Looking for on-card rookie ascent autographs, five cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Looking for rare inserts and die cuts, one auto per box on average. So there you go. Basically one hit per box, one autograph per box. And there'll be various inserts that we'll sh ship to you as well. And be sure to double check the values of those cards on a secondary market because I'm pretty sure that some of the more rare inserts uh, will have some, some nice monetary value in there too. Now we've got a bunch of other breaks that are close to filling up, boys and girls, so if you want to get into jazbeeshobbyland.com, Make it happen. We do have more basketball on the site. Court Kings basketball is available. Totally certified basketball is available. Um, both 17-18. So it features the uh, this current draft class, rookie class, that's been playing, uh, all of them been playing pretty well. It's a pretty deep class. And uh, a lot of the rookies have been delivering, which has helped, helped us in the hobby, helped their respective teams. So it's been a good basketball season. Myself a little room. All right, good luck. Start off with a redemption. So we'll breeze through these cards here, which are just the base cards. There's a lot of cool inserts here, like the Kyle Lowry Composure. Adjust the camera angle a little bit. Composure. We got John Collins. It's a rookie card right there. De'Aaron Fox, all these rookie cards here are pretty cool. I think some of them you'll be able to tell are if they're numbered have different like there are different variations and whatnot. A lot of cool inserts. T.J. Leaf. Vince Carter. The thrill of victory. Love these cards too. I like the design of it as well. I believe this is the first year they've done this. There you go. There's a numbered card right there, Justin Jackson. Right there, out of one at twenty-nine. I'm sure even that Ben Simmons will probably have a decent amount of value too. 
And there's Willie Hernan Gomez out of 75. Let's leave those up. We'll top load all of those before they get sent out. Nice Blake Griffin die cut. All right, that was box one. And the redemption is going to be base set autographs green, Kevin Durant. That's a nice way to start off the break. What is the, what's the green number to? Let me go to cardboardconnection.com really quick. That goes to the Warriors. That'll be for Ed Ramos. Is it out of five? Is the train whistle? Base autograph green set. Kevin Durant is card 95. No, out of, it's out of 25. That's what it says. Base autographs green, according to cardboardconnection.com. Card number 95 is out of 25. Still good, though. Nice, Ed. Nice. There's Kevin. Deserves this train whistle right here. That's a good way to start off the break, too. Nice Kevin Durant. All right. Next box. Good luck. Not a bad start to this break. Good luck, everybody. Here comes the next box. Can't wait to see one of those rookie ascent autographs. They're gonna have. Uh, they're they're gonna be on card. That's the nice part about that. Yeah, I think in Prism, the greens are out of five. That's what you may have been thinking of. Good luck. There's Jordan Bell, Goran Dragic. A lot of fun inserts that are popping out of here. Kawhi, injured Kawhi Leonard. There's Jared Allen out of 129 for the Spurs. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. There's Julius Randle has been playing really well last week or so, 66 out of 75. Will they trade? Will the Lakers trade him? Maybe I don't know. That goes to the Lakers. That'll be for EA. And out of 299, nice rookie ascent, Jordan Bell. Nice Jordan Bell. Oh, did I say, I don't know why I said Spurs. That is Nets. It doesn't really matter, though, what I say. <laughs> the shipping team goes by that list, so as long as that list is accurate. I could say Jordan Bell, Orlando Magic to Victor Z. This would still go to Ed Ramos and the Golden State Warriors. It's out of 299. He's actually been getting some minutes and stuff, too, Jordan Bell. Anuobi for the Raptors, who I'm pretty sure beat the Cavs just by a lot, I think. Nice Kyle Kuzma, who's been playing well. All right, next box. 
Was it by 34? Wow. Cavs have kind of been struggling the last few games, right? I think Isaiah Thomas may have finished. I don't know. He was like 0 for 11 by the end of the third quarter, I think. I don't know if he actually scored a point. <laughs> Raptors really have changed the uh, changed the narrative of their team. I think the I think a lot of people in the off season were like, "Huh, is that what?" The, so the Rap so the Raptors are gonna do nothing, huh? It did, didn't seem like they made a lot of off season moves that people were gonna get all fired up about, but they changed the way they play. And I think that has been a huge difference in the Raptors this season. They just feel like a different team, you know. So they've, they've kind of reinvented them, reinvented themselves, which is which is pretty hard to do with the same personnel, you know, without kind of really just overhauling the team. So good for them. We'll see what they can do in the East, make, make the East a little exciting. Will, what's the next one? I have no idea what the next break is going to be. I see a few orders, a couple orders coming in. But um, I know that the Bowman draft is really close. We could do another Elite Extra Baseball. NT Baseball, Chronicles Baseball, Immaculate Football, Court Kings Basketball, Trilogy Hockey. We've got a lot of stuff happening, folks. Thomas finished 2 for 15. Oof. And I said, oh, he hasn't been playing for a while. I, I, give him a, I give him a little bit of a pass. There's KD again at a 125. Slot saying uh, from Toronto, and then I'm exactly right. Well, good. Another Jordan Bell for the Warriors. That's another one for Ed Ramos. It's been, it's been all Warriors thus far, hits wise. Justin Jackson, D Wade, Anthony Davis reaching new heights. That seemed like a different parallel, right? Pretty cool though. I like the design of this set too. Josh Hart to 129. There's Shaq. AI, the answer. One of my favorite non Laker players. Caleb Swanigan. Oscar Robertson composure. Some more Ben Simmons. And there you go. There's that box. I think I heard Reggie Miller say in that tr that Cavs Toronto game, Cavs Raptors game. I think Reggie Miller was saying like, listen, you know. For the last handful of years, you kind of knew what the Raptors were going to do. They were going to finish, you know, like as the fifth or sixth seed in the East, and they'll get bounced in the second round. Like, but now, even Reggie Miller was saying on the TNT broadcast, like, this team feels a little different. You know, they could, they, you know, they could make some noise in the East. The East has actually been pretty strong, too. Everyone likes to make fun of the East, but I think they've actually been playing they've been playing pretty well. So we'll see. I, I know I know everyone uh, I know everyone says, hey, uh, you know, it's gonna be Cavs Warriors again. And it and it may very well be Cavs Warriors again, but I'm hoping that there could be some surprises. I'm sure there will be. There's got to be a surprise. You know, it's hard. It's hard for teams to go, you know, as e as good as the Warriors are, as good as the Cavs are, it's hard to go back to 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 back. The way, the way they've been doing. At some point, like, someone's going to get injured. You know, like, you know, you don't want to wish that upon anybody, but, you know, Steph Curry could tweak an ankle, you know. LeBron James could tweak an ankle, you know that, and that's it. That, that could be, you know, it could happen in in the playoffs, and they they'll be out for a little while. You know, you never know. You don't know what's going to happen.
but I know my Lakers aren't going to be in the finals, so I'd like to see see uh, something a little different. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Dan Smith Jr. has been playing well. That goes to the Dallas Mavericks. We've got Dion Waiters at a 125. We got, and we got an Eric Bledsoe autograph. Eight out of 66. 68. Suns edition of Eric Bledsoe. That goes to Jesus and the Suns. Nice. Derek White for the Spurs. I think that's what I was thinking of, Jeff. <laughs> uh, there's Vince Sanity. With that Jared Allen mix up earlier. Right, let's leave up those cards. Yeah, Celtics do look pretty incredible. Well, after what trade? The Eric Bledsoe trade? Uh, yeah, Bucks could still come out of come out of nowhere too. And Will Drigger saying that the Bowman Draft Super Jumbo is down to seven. Nice. So I'm sure we'll knock that break out pretty soon after this break. Fill that break up, folks, while this break is happening. So then we can just jump right into it. I've got, I've actually have, I actually have that box right here, right next to me, so. If the Bucks had a healthy, if the Milwaukee Bucks had a healthy Jabari Parker, doing Jabari Parker things, that could be pretty amazing. This is true, Travis. The Heat are hot now. The Heat are hot. The Heat making noise, too. I don't know if they're quite ready yet to, to take it to that next step, but I'm sure Miami's got to be pretty happy about the way that team is working out. Um, you gotta You got to think that... that Got to give credit to Eric Spolstra, right? Eric Spolstra, pretty pretty good coach. After after losing all those all those key players, you know, seems to be doing uh, doing pretty well. Tony Bradley, rookie card for the Jazz. We've got a die cut of De'Aaron Fox. Reaching new heights, Carl Anthony Towns. And out of 75, Harry Giles for the Kings. Nice. EA Sports is in the game with the Sacramento Kings. Gets the Harry Giles. And the Harry Giles is 49 out of 75. Wesley Wundu, one of the big guys for the Orlando Magic. There's Ben Simmons. 
who's been playing incredibly well this season for the Sixers. Luke Kennard. And 34 out of 50. Nice Bam Adebayo. And Adebayo getting minutes because who got injured? I, I, I forget who was the... Was it Whiteside? Someone got injured on the Heat. And that, that that's going to give Bam Adebayo like 30 minutes a game for like the next week or so. You know, so... Keep an eye out for, for values on him. All right, next box. So these are the these are the box. Those are the boxes that are left. Good luck. <laughs> Will Drigger saying Atlanta Hawks fan here. Basketball doesn't exist this year for him. Yeah, Dwight Howard. No, no one really likes Dwight Howard, right? Although he's playing well for the Hornets. But I know injuries were a big part of it, but just something didn't quite go quite according to plan for Dwight Howard, I feel like. I feel like he was going to be, you know, he had that injury. Uh, you know, back issues, I think it was, among other things. And he was supposed to be like this big, sexy free agent. You know, the Lakers were going to sign him for like a, you know, big seven-year deal. He's going to be like the next big man for the Lakers. You know, he's going to cement his legacy. And then it just something didn't quite, just didn't quite work out. You know, didn't quite produce. You know, then, then attitude issues. Whether it was perceived or not there was there you know whether it was true or not there was that kind of perception there so then he's been bouncing around you know a bunch of teams you know it was almost Frank Tilakina has been one of the few bright spots for the Knicks I feel like uh I feel like Dwight Howard just kind of thought that that he that he had the natural talent to not, you know, to not work, and and just use his natural talent to. To to dominate, you know what I mean, and for a long time he did, but. But now. And a lot of the game seems to be passing him. Sixty one out of one twenty nine, because it's you know the the game is different. Smaller lineups, a lot of three pointers. There's James Harden. Out of 75. Do I think he'll win a ring? Well, I mean, you know, yes, he could. He could end up on a team that, that, that will win a ring, but I don't know if it'll be because of him. Well, speaking of the Atlanta Hawks, there's Kent Bazemore, 88 out of 111. I think he'll, I think he could win a ring, but I don't think he'll win a ring... I don't think it'll be because of of him, because he's leading the way. You know, he's obviously talented enough where he'll be a big part of that team, but I don't think it's because, you know, he'll be, you know, he's like, he, I don't think he'll be a key part of it. There's Terrence Ferguson for the OKC Thunder. Yeah, Howard did kind of become a prima donna. I, I think he kind of bought into his own hype a little bit too much, you know, that he was the next big thing, the next Superman, the next big player. He kind of bought into his hype and maybe didn't put in the work or something like that. There's, I mean, it was a bunch of little things, I think. I don't, it's hard to point to one big thing that he did wrong, you know, but I think it was just a bunch of little things that kind of, kind of, uh, kind of crept up and kind of put him in the situation where he is because... Remember his Orlando Magic days? Again, like I said, he everyone would 
everyone would say, I want Dwight Howard on my team. That's what everyone would say. I want Dwight Howard on my team. No question. Every team, would, all, all 30 basketball clubs would want a Dwight Howard on their team near the end of his Orlando Magic days. You know, granted, you know, if you believe that he was going to be healthy. Now, not so much. A random hero is trying to think that, that Kobe broke away. Maybe. Yeah, Co Kobe Bryant is 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 as uh, as mean as Michael Jordan. You know, so yeah, I can see that. I th I th I think I think Dwight Howard kind of again in L.A. anyway, at least from my perspective. Again, I, I feel like he believed his own hype and kind of thought that everything was just going to be handed to him. That the transfer of power between Kobe to, from Kobe Bryant to Dwight Howard would be seamless. That he could just kick back, get his get paid, get the team, you know, and be like a superstar in L.A. Just at the, at the drop of a hat. Which obviously didn't happen. You got you because, you know. LA, we like stars, but you kind of have to win, too. You know, the the people who really love the Lakers, Dodgers, all that sort of stuff, there's LeBron James out of 125. A lot, lot more of a blue-collar presence here than people may think. A lot of people just see, like, the, the, the celebrity sitting in, sitting courtside, but... Out of 129, Zach Collins... Kemba Walker, Composure. It's on white side. And Jimmy Butler has been playing really well for the Timberwolves. Eric Gordon. 169 out of 180 for the Houston Rockets. Steel Curtain, Michael Lucalucci. Last spot mojo. He doesn't even collect basketball, folks. He was just trying to help out this break. Maybe try to win some break credit. There. Instead, now you, now you have an Eric Gordon. Welcome to the world of basketball. Who's must have been a revelation for the Lakers this year? We're all very happy to have him. Jared Allen for the Nets. Galucci uh, still comes like I'll take it. I'm okay with that. Kyle Lowry. All right, another solid box in the books. Uh, so, Steel Curtain. He's a Pittsburgh guy. Michael Gulich is a Pittsburgh guy. Uh, no professional basketball in Pittsburgh. So for the people that grow up in Pittsburgh, what what basketball team team do they end up supporting? Do they go do they go Cavs, I guess? That's mileage wise, that would be the closest team, right? Or do they stick with Pennsylvania and go Sixers? Or is it like a mix? All right. Next box. So, okay, so Michael Gallucci is saying, well, most most fans end up going Cavs, but Pittsburgh's dislike of the Browns ends up carrying over to all Cleveland teams. Have a... Here's a question. 
I actually don't know what the was there a a professional basketball team in Pittsburgh? Like, you know, Pittsburgh has has a long football and baseball tradition, hockey tradition, but no no basketball, right? Was there like an ABA team in Pittsburgh? I don't know my basketball history very well. So I don't know what if if Pittsburgh has ever had had an association with basketball. Josh Jackson, nice, two sixty four or two ninety nine. There you go. That's a big hit for the Suns. That'll be for Jesus and the Phoenix Suns. Nice. The rookie ascent autographs, of course, are on card, which is great. Two sixty four out of two ninety nine. That's a nice hit. Caleb Swanigan, Vince Sanity, Stockton. Ah, there was an ABA team, Pittsburgh Condors. What happened to them? Did they get folded into another team, or did they just disappear? Is that a bio? Josh Hart to one twenty five. And James Harden. Reaching you. This, this looks like a different parallel, but I don't see a number here. I'll set it aside. Juwan Evans for the clip show. There's Kobe. Another Ben Simmons. We'll pull these aside, Sixers. That'll go to Daniel. Even though his autographs are uh, exclusive to Upper Deck, even though second year base cards can have some value on a secondary market. So yeah, so the Condors were there until 1972, says Seal Curtain. That's interesting, because you, you would think. They, so they just folded in 72 and that was it? Was that Lowry numbered? Oh, I missed that. There you go. That goes to you, Jeff. Good eye. 63 out of 75 on that Kyle Lowry. Get that top loaded before it gets sent out. All right, four boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. Tyler Lydon, 75. We'll sleeve all those up in a little bit. Some Kobe. Magic. Composure. And Juwan Evans, again, rookie card. And we got Malik Monk. Oh, I thought that was going to be an autograph for the Hornets. Malik Monk. Chris Paul, maybe? 
Now that goes to New Orleans. For the Raptors, DeMar DeRozan at a 125 for Jeff. Brandon Ingram has been playing well. And it's Tyler Lydon, 226 out of 299. Rookie Ascent on card autograph for the Denver Nuggets. That'll be for Derek P. Nice. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes to go. Pretty solid thus far. Good luck. Uh, Will saying Will wants to do some of that, some Game of Thrones. Did you buy a spot in Game of Thrones? Nice. We already we already did one today. We can do another one today. That's fun, quick, easy. We're getting very near the end of this break, folks. So start thinking about uh, what we want to do next. Uh, when I'm done with this break, we should have about oh a uh, couple hours, two hours and a half left in the broadcast which is plenty of time for a lot of different breaks on the website. So keep the momentum going on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Keep buying your spots. Keep pushing. Even if it seems like it's gonna, it's going a little slow, just get in there. Go, go in there and start buying spots because once I start going through all of the orders, I'll start shouting out who bought what and try to build some momentum in some of these breaks. So help me help you. Thornwell. Oh, that's numbered right there. 20 out of 125. They're kind of hard to read sometimes. And Malik Monk. There it is. 21 out of 50. Rookie Ascent autograph right on the card. EA Sports. It's in the game. With the Malik Monk. Oh, TJ's telling me that NT Baseball is down at 10. Well, someone get that to single digits. We can do that tonight. Tony Bradley for the Jazz out of 129. I want to find a Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. T.J. Leaf for the Pacers. D. Wade, Ascension. Another Ben Simmons. D.J. Wilson. And Ricky Rubio, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two boxes to go. Nice low number on this one, too. Good luck, everybody. Next box coming up. Second to last box. Keep those orders coming, folks. 
I see orders from Brian K, Ed Ramos, Ed Aarons, Will Driggers, Nick Martindale, and Will again. So help those folks out. Help them get the breaks filled up. We can pull some more big hits tonight. Tonight. Or at the very least, let's get some break a lot. Let's get breaks even closer to filling tonight. And then when Friday comes around, everyone payday for a lot of people. When Friday comes around, then we can go bananas on all of these breaks. Travis Neve, are you trying to set me up, right, Travis? Who has had or the ugly shot in the NBA? I, I know who has the ugliest shot in the NBA currently. Who had the ugliest shot? Yeah, Sean Marion did not have a good shot. Currently, Lonzo Ball doesn't really have a great looking shot. His shooting percentage is a lot better, though, in the last few weeks, but so the mechanics of that seems to be a little all over the place. Justin Jackson. More Ben Simmons. There's Kelly Aubrey Jr. to 125. For the Wizards, that'll go to Tim Haynes. And Kyle Kuzma. 80 out of 299. Rookie Ascent autograph for my Lakers. Who's got my Lakers? EA Sports with my Lakers. Eric was one of the first people that bought into this particular break, pick your team four, like about the end of November. <laughs> we finally did it, and he's rewarded with the Kyle Kuz. He's cooled off a little bit, but he should still finish the season strong. The Lakers in general cooled off a little bit. But but that is a great hit. Ooh, there's Sonic's edition of Kevin Durant. There you go. Sonic's stuff will go to the Oklahoma City Thunder. So that intern will go to Travis. And Harry Giles to 75, 13 out of 75. Last box coming up, then we'll go through some orders here. We'll see who got what. This is a nice one there. Nice Kyle Kuzma. All right, let's see what we end with, folks. Good luck, everybody. If you want to do more basketball, we've got Court Kings basketball on the website. One spot gets you two teams and a four-box break. We love the Court Kings. We also love uh, Totally Certified Basketball. That's been great. That's on the site good stuff there too so check it out all right last box good luck everybody we enjoy talking about the hoops we enjoy breaking hoops so come hoop with us at jazbeeshobbyland.com Good luck. Nice Markel Fultz rookie card. Justin Patton to 75. Got Jason Tatum. Nice Jason Tatum rookie for the Celtics. There's Chris Paul for New Orleans. Ben Simmons. 
Justin Patton for the Timberwolves. For those Chris Paul cards, in case there's an actual hit that comes out, we go by city. So we go city to city to city. New Orleans, New Orleans. Charlotte to Charlotte, in case you were wondering. Nice Dan Smith Jr. rookie card. Steph Curry to 125. And Jonathan Isaac, 10 out of 299, is your final autograph. Rookie Ascent Auto for the Orlando Magic. And that will be Victor Z. Nice. Do you believe in magic? Yes. There it is. And that's the break, folks. All right. Time to do some randomizing. Good luck. Let me sleeve these up too. Good luck, everybody. So everyone has a chance at a holiday scratcher spot. Everyone has a chance at fifty dollars of break credit. And the next fi uh, the next five people after that will have a chance at uh, some autograph cards that Paul Harris is giving away. Just as a little little friendly giveaway. So uh, so big thanks to Paul Harris for contributing to this break. See here, where are all my I think all my holiday scratches are in here. Let's grab the box. There it is. There they are. So we'll go back to the list. There's everyone here. Let's go from Michael Butler with the Hawks and Tim Haynes and the Wizards. Put in this blank list. Let's randomize that list. One and a four, five times. Good luck. One, two, three. Four and fifth and final time. So after five times, we've got Alex Carmichael on top. Bryce with the fifty dollars of break credit. Congrats! And Eric, Daniel, David, Tyler, and Josh. I'll be getting in touch with you, um, so you can get in touch with Paul Harris. We'll send you uh, some fun, some, something extra, a little bonus, something fun. So there you have it. Now, Alex, holiday scratcher time for you. You're also in the, we randomize all the people who won a holiday scratcher to another bigger promo where the top five out of 75 people will win something extra. We'll go with this one here. Good luck, Alex Carmichael. Here we go, thanks for joining our breaks. Appreciate it. Let's see what bonus hit you get right here. You get. Whoa. Whoa. Two hundred dollars. I didn't even know that was in here. Two hundred dollars of break credit for Alex Carmichael, just because he joined Ascension Basketball. That's what can happen, folks. Special holiday scratches. We're almost done with those too. So check it out. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com plus a winner's list as well. There you go, folks. We'll see you next time. Congrats again. Bye-bye.